Mr. Kroos has just broken the the seven pound um, <laughs> umbrella. Hello, I'm Richard Voves, the Bald Explorer. Proof is in the pudding. Uh, with a hat on. Yes. And this is a, another of the series of videos I'm making with the one and only Robert Croser. He takes me to some Hello. places. I'm up in Cumbria exploring Cumbria, but for some reason I'm not actually in Cumbria. I'm close, aren't I? You are close, yeah. The Cumbrian border is about 10, 15 miles from here. Um, I thought bringing Richard up here and knowing his uh, interest in things out of the ordinary, I did explain to him that there was a rather large Buddhist monastery in the area. Oh, so that's what this chappy is doing, sitting on the water with yes. the, the water piping yes. through. Okay. A monastery. What, what monastery is it? Kagyu Samhiling Monastery. Easy for you to say. Easy for, yes. <laughs> There's a board at the front there that says they've been here for about 50 years and uh, something about the, the world peace starts with peaceful minds. It certainly does, yes, and here is a place of peace. It's tranquil, it's, the setting is incredible. It's just in a valley in the middle of nowhere called Eskdale Muir. And we are going to have a little wander around and see the sights. We are, yes. I mean, this is just touching on what's here. There's a, a huge temple that has to be Seem, seem to, to be, be believed, believed yeah. yes. Because it's raining, we've we've just moved inside here to the pet cemetery. Yes, which yes. is uh, an unusual thing. There are um, a whole load of cremated, I'm assuming. Yes, in yes, little dogs, boxes cats. and things. There's a couple of chickens. There's a rat. Oh my goodness! There's uh, a, a mummified tortoise, isn't there? Uh, yeah, and a mummified tortoise, which is interesting. And then yeah. over here. We've got these prayer wheels, and it says that these prayer wheels, they've been used in the East for thousands of years, and um, they're supposed to increase peace and harmony. And each one is supposed to have several million mantras or, or prayers on them. Uh, these are run by motors, but apparently you can um, have others that you, you, yeah, you, you turn wheel by hand. By hand yeah. At the bottom, there's obviously handles to actually turn them, but the but they yeah, oh, got them on not. a belt or something. Yeah. And the other weird part of this place, I mean, I say weird, I mean, interesting, I suppose, yeah. is there's people here as well. Yes, yes, um, there is, yes. You know, people have been cremated. Yeah. They're here. It's quite this, a moving place. Um. Well, with the wheels, it would be moving. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. You're part of the point, yes. And, and there's lots of them. You see, here, these are probably ones that you can turn yourselves. Mm. Bronze or br brass or something? Bronze yeah, bronze or brass, I think. Yeah, and you turn them. And I think you run the fingers over them from what I've read about them. Good for the blind, yeah. I should think, because yeah. it's like very yeah, large very braille. Very tactile. Yeah. So this is a stupa. Yeah, it's an incredible building, isn't it? It's huge. It's what, four story side, maybe? beautifully laid out we've got a little pond here yeah with some daffodils which are still in bloom i think yeah, they're it's very landscaped isn't it and there's ducks in the pond yeah. here we can see it beautifully laid out a labor of love this was an old i think a shooting lodge oh and it was, was it it was it's part of the monastery now but i think it was uh, donated along with the land back in the early 60s to the monastery so and they've obviously set up and it's i think it's it adds to it, it yeah no definitely it, it shows there was something here before so which way do we go to go to, to the temple to the right to the right okay quite keen to see that that temple there's obviously lots to see but mm. in our little video there's clearly not uh, enough time to no, see it all no. i know you can come here for weekends or retreats for meditation and uh, you know to clear your head um, you get a fantastic music. view um here there's a lovely little bridge yes. that goes over this little river thing i'm just going to have a quick look at that we'll just cross over here and there is a stream that must go into the ersk i guess yes it will do just cross over here i don't know what it's called no it doesn't Sadly. matter here we go look there's a nice little funny thing down there a little conical beehive shaped thing 
Yeah, a cairn. Oh, it's a cairn, is yeah. it? It's a. I don't know what its significance is. Is this the River Esk? This, this is the River Esk, oh, but that stream that runs into it, I have no not a idea. clue. It's, it's very beautiful and very it peaceful. Is. It is. Is that the uh, is that the temple behind us? Then? Yes, that's the temple behind oh, us. Oh, okay. That's Let's go and have a look, then, the shall we? There's all these weird curiosities. Like it's like a bench, but you can't actually sit on it because there's some weird eggs in front of it yeah. or something. I'm sure what somebody out there will know the significance of them, but it's lost on me. And it's amazing how this carving. Look at this weird. A uh, little spiral shape goes round like it, an and then curve. the crown on the top. It's uh, it is superb. So we're coming up to the temple now. It's very ornate, but it, what's interesting is it is actually <laughs> it is actually an ordinary building that's been converted, isn't it? It was built especially. Oh, was it? Yeah, it's been built from the from from, from the scratch. ground up. The only original building was the old shooting lodge oh, okay. that was here everything's been built on yes um over time over the last 50 years or yes so. i suppose this is how you make a modern a modern temple i was yes. thinking of all the you know the old stone that you would have in tibet and the the aged yeah, sort of yeah. building it's very different to that very let's different. get under the under yes. the shelter out of the rain and here we go look at that in a buddhist temple yep, magnificent. in england or Scotland yeah. or the border or yeah no really really fascinating isn't it I, it says there welcome in very big letters Kagyu Monlam. yeah I'm not, I'm, Monlam? I'm not going to even try and um, pronounce no. that because I think I would make a complete fool of myself um, and just up these steps you've got these um, cows sacred cows yeah, presumably nice. bulls by the looks of things yeah. there's one just here and then there's another they look quite ferocious that's the uh, the other end of him i'm not so scared of these though because they're they're actually inanimate yes they're made of plaster now i think you have to take your shoes off to go yes, inside you do. Yes, but yes. um i'm not sure i'm gonna go in I'm a bit scared of filming uh inside i think it might be a bit disrespectful yeah 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 I certainly take a... some photographs but filming might be yeah. no matter I'm going to take my hat off now. Um, we're just shaded a little bit, or sheltered, I perhaps should say, yes. um, from the uh, rain by these trees. We're going to come down to a wooded area. You can't really see very much, but it's down by the river here, and it's, it's very peaceful. It is. Very... Um, I felt I needed to come away from the temple. It, it's very nice. It's too gaudy, too bright in, in this beautiful natural environment and i have to say um and it's definitely well worth coming and having a look not understanding buddhism not understanding what they're about not really getting it it mm. seems incredibly alien to me and i get nothing it's really weird i get nothing from that sort of prefab building with a lot of paint on it and i know that's rude but i'm i'm honest that's you know best way to be best way to be and i think they would probably appreciate that to me it's when I, it's thrown into the it's into built in the modern era and yeah, i think that's probably just, my problem with it's it because just thrown i thrown into this environment and it's i think here of, and it's I, loud i think of um tibetan as ancient historic you know beautiful granite slabs or uh, you know sandstone stabs slabs and that sort of thing but here it just it feels like a, a 1950s building that's been slapped up and painted and i know i know that's rude certain theme park quality yeah. to it yeah yeah that's you built think, with the best intentions in the world yeah but we're we're actually in the smoking area <laughs> we are the, <laughs> the staff that neither uh, of us smoke probably. no the staff that come and look after this the artwork though just back there there's this hand arm holding up a branch i think some of the artwork is really interesting yeah, it's, it's very, very beautiful yeah and the land and the landscaping i love all of that and I love the setting with these beautiful hills. It's just I'm not really into the temple. It just seems a bit alien to me, but it's right for them. Yes, absolutely. Thank and you for bringing me here. Big respect to them. Yep, you're very welcome. I, I'm glad I came. I'm yep. glad I've seen it. It's a shame about the weather. It I is. hope we've got some shots so it makes some sense to people. Do come and have a look. Don't take my <laughs> words for it. Um, 
we'll see you on the next one don't forget to follow like and subscribe become a patron support what i do and i'll go and disgrace some other place <laughs> in another video but until then we'll see you on the next one bye for now <laughs>